on After Hours. Now, please be patient with us as we workshop some new monologue ideas, like our new segment, Ins and Outs, which we will now read at you. In Frogs, if you ever see me there on any given Tuesday, no you didn't. But if you see me singing karaoke on a Thursday, you definitely did. Oh yeah. Out Polly's. They've just introduced a fast pass that allows you to pay $20 to skip the line. I'm sorry, but I didn't realize this was the spaceship Earth ride at Disney World. In walkable cities. Mm. You know, Elon being only one square block, I need a change of scenery. Not to mention all the buildings on campus looking exactly the same. So true, girl. You know what's out? Motorized skateboards. I should not have to live my life in fear after being run over by a freshman going 25 miles per hour on a glorified hoverboard. But you know what's in? Reading. I don't care if you're reading Franz Kafka's Metamorphosis or Colleen Hoover's Verity. As long as you finish that book, I'm proud of you. And Verity was awesome, by the way. Mm. Out Snapchat. Since turning 21, I refuse to give any romantic interest my Snapchat as a main point of contact. I would rather give him my school email address or even my LinkedIn. You know, I am really close to 500 connections. H showing at elon.edu. Hit me up. Slide in the DMs. Um, well, that's all for our ins and out. Now back to our regularly scheduled monologue. In the coming weeks, a few sororities, including my own, will be having our mom's weekends. I can't wait to see my mom, but truly, she has the worst timing. Last week, I was stranded in the middle of the Walmart parking lot with one dollar and no shoes, and she wouldn't answer my 10 messages. But yesterday, during my thesis presentation to my entire class, she's blowing up my phone. And now a bunch of people in my class know that I'm super constipated. You know that the same thing happened to me, but I had two dollars instead of one. Oh, right. So, yeah, right. it was better. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not afraid to call my mom every single day, multiple times of day. Of course, it's because I miss her or whatever, but I also just have this constant need to look like I'm on a very important phone call every time I'm walking from one class to the next. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, usually the conversations consist of like what I had for lunch or like letting my mom know that I just walked past the guy who broke my heart freshman year. Mm -hmm. Hey, Travis. <laughs> The Elon women's lacrosse team made national news headlines when they pushed their tour bus out of the mud with their bare hands. But why are people, pe why are people surprised? Of course they made them push the bus. There's no room in the women's lacrosse budget for a tow truck. But if it was the football team, they would have had a new bus and a catered meal from Chick-fil-A Chick on standby. Cocaine Bear is the newest blockbuster, and it's taking theaters by storm. After great reviews from the public, the same person who came out with Cocaine Bear are now inspired to release new movies, such as Methamphetamine Flamingo and LSD Rhinoceros. It was revealed that Ellen Pompeo, the face of Grey's Anatomy, is leaving the show this season. And we were all surprised to find out that she wasn't killed off like everyone else in the series. There are so many unrealistic parts of the show, Patients amputating their own limbs, rampant, unprotected hookups every other minute. But most surprising of all is the frequency of once-in-a-lifetime medical accidents all happening in the Seattle metropolitan area. And are we really supposed to believe that the best hospital in the country is in Seattle? The American Girl Doll Company has created a new 90s-inspired doll that has struck a nerve in millennials everywhere due to the fact that the new doll is a part of the historical collection. The American Girl Doll Company tweeted that they didn't mean to hurt so many feelings today, but honestly, I'm glad the millennials are angry. They can take their unironic emojis and boomerangs anywhere else. That's all for the monologue. Lastly, we would like to thank ChatGPT for writing this entire thing. Ciao. Welcome back to Elon After Hours. And here in studio with us, we have two very special guests, OK? We have D. Scott and we have Joe. Guys, welcome to the studio. So happy to have you here. How are you guys feeling to be here today? I'm flabbergasted right now. That yeah. is such a good Over, word. Good word. Overwhelmed is the only word to describe our moods right now. We're just we're just happy to be here. Amazing. Awesome. Amazing. Well, we know a lot about you guys, but our viewers don't, and we know that you are some of the funniest guys on campus. But how did you two meet? Because we wanted to have you on today together to really showcase your bromance. How did how did this come to be? I didn't. I think I like a darty. Like yeah. Freshman year, yeah, maybe. I'm thinking like freshman year, darty kind of a thing where where we both walked in and just like I see him like gunning from across the darty and he sees me gunning from across the darty and right. we just mm. 
eventually collided. It's been history since. And, and we were actually both drunk for the first two and a half weeks of our friendship, so right. we don't remember that. Amazing. Part of it, and and for the parents who are watching out there, can you give us a definition, a comprehensive definition of darty? Because I know that a lot of people don't know what that means. So they don't go to the school. It's like a nerdy during the day. <laughs> So it's a it's a day party. Day party. That's a, I call that a darty. Th I just wanted to clarify for our viewers who might be confused. It's it's a party that starts before eight p.m. Before okay. eight p.m. Okay, and does, and just for my own curiosity, does it end at a certain time, or is it just like um, can I it can it just turn into a night party? A darty. A nardy. Those are the Sorry. best. Those are the best. A darty that goes. Usually, to it's like you get pushed icedy for like three four hours, like you're feeling it. And you get like you re up on some food, maybe get some tangent. If you're f if you're really feeling it, you just continue on to Gurks, and then then you start hitting the bars right afterwards, or a night party if you have if you have the social fun. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. I love how you included tangent and McGurks in there. Shout out to Shout our out. local we love eateries them. on campus. Very Shout cool. out tangent. Shout out tangent. Feel free to sponsor me. Honestly. Um, so if you guys had to compare your friendship to like an on-screen bromance, which one would you pick? And I have a few options if you guys want to hear. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you guys have seen Community, but Troy and Abed, um, Joey and Chandler from Friends, um, Sean and Gus from Psych. Any one of those like struck a chord with you guys? I see us as Nick and Schmidt. From okay, oh, okay, good one. Okay, it's a good, good one. one. Good one. Alright. Well, who's who's Nick and who's Schmidt? I'm obviously Schmidt because I'm Jewish. That's right. Okay, so. that's fair. We're back in airplane. Yeah. I'm coming back. Okay. And then he's Nick. He's lost his mic. He really. He did lose his mic. <laughs> you can hold it like a tiny mic. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold it like a tiny mic. But just don't touch. Don't, don't touch the top part. There you go. He is Nick for real. For yeah. Real. Here we go. Oh, um, I would say so like, he's crafty like that. He's crafty. I would say like Drake and Josh or like um. <laughs> yeah, maybe, that's good. Uh, that's good. SpongeBob and Patrick. SpongeBob and Patrick. That's a good one. That's For a good sure. one. Those are good ones. Jules, do you think we would be like a SpongeBob and Patrick type? Beat? Um, I'm thinking I'm Patrick and they're SpongeBob. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. It? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, good. Because I'm really anxious all the time. And I'm pink <laughs> and a star shape. You yeah, know? perfect. <laughs> that's what everyone says about me. So, talking about, we said you wanted to be sponsored a little bit before. Uh, you run a TikTok account that you recently have opened where you review, you started in Italy during your J-term abroad and yeah. you review food. How is that going for you now that you're back in Elon? I have to say, Elon is just not the culinary powerhouse that I once assumed it was. Okay. Um, after like weeks and weeks of eating like delicious, freshly made Italian food, it was just mildly tough to return to McEwen pasta. Definitely. And as much Definitely. as I love McEwen pasta, it, it, it's been a bit of a crushing return. And producing the same Alex Earl level of content that I mm. once was is becoming a real struggle. It's here. hard. I it's mean, a tough world out there. What do I eat other than Qdoba and Polly's, you know? Have you been able to find a super authentic Italian food in Burlington or not yet? There's, there's no such there, thing. There's, there's no such thing. Um, by authentic Italian food, we're talking like eighth generation New York guys. Um, but Sal's is pretty okay. Sal's is good. Actually, yeah, I like Sal's. Sal's is really good. Yeah. I, I get bangs with like a chicken parm here from Sal's. Yeah. yeah. Sal's is good like while you're there. Like the experience is great. And then you leave and you feel awful for the mm. rest of the night. And I'm kind of into that. You know I what I mean? I feel like that's I'm most American that. Italian places. No, I want to get there and feel great and then immediately leave and have reality like hit me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's what I want. That for you my, just house for a my huge. Food. Yeah. Tucky yeah, Nova works for me. Oh, Absolutely. for sure. I love it in the Definitely. Moment, but you pay the price later. Absolutely. Um, Joe, so we talked about, you know, Dylan and his food journey. What what are some of your places, favorite places to eat on campus? What do you like to Well go my to? go to spot R. I. P. like it was right next to us, Payway. Mm. They changed oh. it they changed it for Billy fried, D's. Fried chicken now. But everyone's calling Billy D's Billy Mids. It's Whoa. awful. Whoa. It's Rusted. awful. Payway was like a valuable swipe. Billy D's I had their chicken tender I couldn't even finish chicken tenders. And that's like the hardest thing to mess up. <laughs> so that's a red switch. flag. Quote. That's a red flag. Um, but I honestly, Tangent, Chipper, Doba, mm. and then, like, I probably got to mix in McGurk's just because I go there a lot. But, like, I go there a lot because, like, 
the booze and the food aspect. Yes. Right. And it's he's, very nice. he's 21, everyone, so. Yeah, we're I'm 21, good. no green outs. We're all good. All right. um, <laughs> um, so you've also been, uh, we've heard you've been golfing recently. Uh, actually, D. Scott told us you were golfing right before this, so how perfect. Um, what do you have to say about people who claim golf is not a real sport? Um, that's like the same thing as claiming like dance or cheerleading is not a real sport. It's a physical activity. Okay, represent for the dancers. Mm -hmm. It True. gets you moving. It's challenging. It's very competitive. And whoever's ignorant, ignorant enough to say that just is afraid to try it or stinks. Whoa. In my wow. opinion. Wow. That's okay. a good take. Move it or lose it. That's so true. And um, one more question over to you. So we've noticed that you've been taking a liking to unique shoes recently. Oh, uh, <laughs> I definitely have a you unique dabble, shoe. You dabble. Definitely have an interesting shoe collection. How would you describe, I mean, both of you, how would you guys describe your unique styles that you, mm -hmm. whether it's your style that you would wear out on the weekends or your style that you wear to class? Do they differ? Are they the same? Um, I would say I'm a mix between Adam Sandler and a sixth grade uh, guy. Okay. Like, I just like, I like, I don't really match too well. It's not like my thing. And uh, honestly, I don't really care about other people's opinions so they can keep them to themselves. Period. And like, uh... <laughs> I'll dress up nice when I have an interview or like a date, but like besides that, like just trying to dress comfy. Nice, nice. yeah. Do you, Scott? What about you? I mean, obviously, being an in, uh, an influencer, I deal with a lot of media attention outside, right. so I always you probably get a lot to, of PR packaging. Yeah, too. I always have to keep up appearances, and it's constantly, you know, wear this brand for me. <laughs> um, so I go for sort of a, a Gosling Seacrest mix, I right. would say, in my style. Um, that I think plays out in a lot of khaki shorts um, mm -hmm. and the same shoes I've had for about a year and a half now. And um, are you going to get the same iteration whenever they run their when time? When these die, I, I might have to take some inspiration off Joe and get myself a pair of fish flops. I mean, those things are oh, ultra right. Oh, fish flops. Uh, they do love a good pair of fish yeah. flops. Yeah, before yeah. I knew who was coming tonight, I was like, oh, who are our guests? And I was like, oh, do you know Joe? I was like, I don't know. Guy with fish flops. I was like, I know who it is. So you got a you gotta brand. You gotta and brand are, are those comfortable for you to wear? Yeah, honestly, I usually wear them for the ladies. Like, uh... I didn't know too many people had foot fetishes until I walked around in fish flops on this campus. Like, Wait, everyone's been checking clarify, out my feet. I don't have a foot fetish. Me saying that would not be having a foot fetish, by the way, for everyone. So let me just clarify that. That sounds exactly like something someone with a foot fetish. I know. I know. I fell right into their trap. She's capping. I just fell right into the trap. Real quick. No, I'm joking. But, um, uh, so. You guys, I know you guys have a lot of funds at Darties, at Nardies, but think about a time just on a regular Tuesday, you know, midday. What's, like, the best adventure you guys have been on? You know, like, what do you, what do you guys, like, what do you do for fun? What's, like, a fun little adventure you guys have? Um, we like to hot girl walk a lot. Oh. Uh, I know that's not, like, a, a big, massive adventure, but, yeah, that's definitely a, a good little friendship activity we like to do. We live uh -huh. right down the road from Q-Dub, so sometimes, you know, we'll throw on the best fits, our best fish, flops, maybe a pair of Crocs, and we'll mm. show the ladies of Sheridan what they're missing. <laughs> a lot of car accidents when you guys are walking. Oh, Just for oh, sure. Everyone's distracted. Sometimes when I'm walking down the road, I hear the swerve, the screech behind me. Yeah, you know, it's the, be careful. Watch out. Fish flops. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. I like to shoot my airsoft gun at, like, at objects. That's pretty <laughs> fun. What kind um, of objects are you shooting? Um, like a beer can? Living. Please, nothing living. Please, nothing living. Oh, like, no. Thank God. Unless it's, like, in the backyard. Joe's pretty um, much a member of PETA. Kids but, and animal lovers. But, okay. like, oh, good. Uh, good, 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 good. I definitely, like, yeah, beer cans are fun, but, like, low-key, like, old TVs are, like, are, t are like really fun. Mm. And then also, like, another thing, like, we like to do is uh, we have this pole, and then we throw rocks at it. It's called rock pole. <laughs> old, old famous cat. Great name. That's really creative. Do, Joe, we it sounds have, really fun. We have a real competitor. Yeah, yeah you just throw, you just throw rocks, rocks at the pole, and like it's actually harder than you think. And is this somewhere around here? Yeah, yeah, it's a skinny well, pole. Can, can I come over? Because I feel like that would really help me take pole. my anger out. Yeah. One of the beauties of rock pole is that it's a game you can play anywhere. As long oh, as you good. have any sort of pole or polular object anywhere you're at. <laughs> You take that, you take a gravel driveway, and you have hours of fun right then, right yeah. there. I feel like we're not monopolizing on just playing games well, my outside My favorite part, anymore. I think, about Rockpole is that, like, when you hear the name, you're like, 
I think it's about, I think it has a rock and a pole in it, and then it does. You know, and that's it's exactly really, what it is. It's straightforward, and I like that. That's it's good. called that because the German world word rock pool means to throw, actually. Are you serious? No. No, no you're <laughs> okay. not. No, you're absolutely not. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. We, we, keep, we keep things simple and straightforward, so none of our boys get confused or anything. Yeah. I like right. that. If we called it, like, rock head or something, someone could get hurt. Yeah, yeah. this is true. Absolutely. That'd be straight to the eye. Yeah, we have absolutely. to communicate this. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good um, take. Also, toques. Toques? Toques is a bit, uh, toque with the boys, black top. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Nice. I was like, what is toques? Toques. Okay. I'm not well versed in video games, Keep it going. being honest. I was never allowed to play them. Actually? My brothers didn't let me. They were annoying. Your that's brothers right. were the ones stopping you from mm -hmm. playing. Well, they wouldn't. Oh, they didn't me. want you to mess up their KD. No, exactly. Yeah. They had mm. saved games, and they thought I would ruin it, which is fair. No, um, fair. So I have another question. So you guys are clearly thinking ahead. You're always thinking about the well-being of others. So if one of you were to, you're a political science major. We know this. I am. If and you a were great philanthropist. Okay. Well, let's say that you run for president. Would Joe be your running mate? Of course. VP. I wouldn't. <laughs> no. We have very like uh, different opinions about stuff. We don't have to get into that though. Okay. Wow. See, but that was a really little, like well, we won't nice get into, answer. We won't get into politics, but I'm just gonna say, if you guys had to run together, what's something that you can agree on that you'd be like, we, this is our platform issue. Oh, chip some of that military budget off. Okay. 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 Nice. Give it to education. Yeah. Wow. Oh, look we're at this. We're getting serious on after hours rock pull, and then we're talking about the military. This is the yeah. kind of range you have on the show. Well, it's kind of a lock. So if we chip off some of the military budget, then the kids that we're raising will get smarter, so then we can make advancements faster for cheaper. Mm. This wow. is why I need you as my VP. You know what I'm saying? It's Absolutely. kind of a lock. Yeah. What would you guys do about like? You know the whole lunch thing where it was like, oh, healthier lunches. Oh, like, with Michelle Obama. Yeah, like mm -hmm. what would you guys, like if you had to create the lunch that everyone had to have in like schools? I'd replace all the ovens with deep fryers. <laughs> okay. Um, and just kind of give um, them no other option. Maybe, uh, maybe like get our food from like a country that doesn't poison our food. Ooh. Oh, be controversial again. So many controversial Let's topics. If, be a lot. if you were making one fried food for every student in America, what fried food would it be? Oh, that's like a that's a tough one. Oh. <laughs> I I have to oh. Maybe maybe, maybe moth sticks. Mm. With a little, like, nah, yeah. it has to get, it has to be the classic chicken tendies and fries. Just to. chicken tendies. And yeah. then you could do like a different sauce of the day. Monday's ketchup, Tuesday's honey mustard, Wednesday's right. ranch, mm -hmm. and you can have the, the the chicken, but every day's sauce is different. Friday's like Chick-fil-A sauce because it's the best sauce out there. That is an idea. That's, That's really a good I idea. I think we could we could try honey roasted it. barbecue from Chick-fil-A. You, you guys will thank me later. Um. So, you know, this campus is kind of small, as we know. Have you two ever had a crush on the same person? And if so, what did you do? I, I, I don't think, think that's so. ever happened. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we try and stay out of each other's lady business. You know, that always gets in between. Bro code friends. is too strong. Yeah, you never, you know, you never. Uh, uh, how how should I word this? Um, Careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> basically, yeah, we we never enter the same hole. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, 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 we never walk in the same door. <laughs> Sure. So true, guys. So true. What do we have next after this wonderful interview? Well, interview? yeah, on that note, that we are going to... That was 20 seconds of thinking. <laughs> yeah, that was 20 seconds of thinking. Mm -hmm. And now... Just say it. <laughs> well, the restaurants. this has been great. And after this, we're going to throw it right now to Jack's new correspondent segment. So we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Jack West, son of Kim West, but not the one that you're thinking of. And I'm so excited to be here for my first ever correspondent. It's about the most magical place on earth. No, not Disney World, Circle K. Circle K is the glue that holds this campus together. And at the moment, they aren't doing too hot. I ran in there to grab a quick snack and drink and was immediately shocked by the surroundings. Breakfast sandwiches on the candy rack, the icy machine leaking a bright red liquid, and they're selling sushi for gosh sakes. But for some reason, it's still my heaven, my safe haven. What I love about Circle K the most is it's a judgment-free zone. Everyone's there for their own personal reasons, and guess what? No one has to know where you've been or what you've been doing. It's a safer space than counseling services, if I'm being honest. Circle K is the only place I have no shame in walking out with a hundred different items in my hand. 
They also have the best deals since Subway's $5 foot long. Circle K's greatest claim to fame is the Polar Pop. You can get as much as 60 ounces of your favorite fountain drink for under $2. But what makes it even better is their sip and save offer. You pay $7 a month and can get one Polar Pop every single frickin' day. If you're gonna continue to sip, you might as well save. Use code Jack at checkout for 5% off. I do have some criticisms about Circle K though. The hot dogs are highly suspicious. An unnamed source revealed that they're kept in a drawer below the heating machines, unwrapped, just raw dogging around. But they have a 99% health rating, so I'm sure it's fine. Not to mention I have a bone to pick with their latest addition, the dreaded self-checkout station. At least run me a check or something if you're gonna have me scanning and bagging my own items. Circle K is kind of like a liminal space that transcends all planes of existence. Time just does not exist there. Oh, they're out of Dr. Pepper? There's no telling when that will be back. The Frosty Machine had been out of service for a little over a month before anyone decided to do something about it. And there's probably candy there that's been on the shelf since before Y2K. While some people hate Circle K's extravagant food options, I'm here for it. Cheesecake, taquitos, beef sticks, pizza, hot dogs, sign me up. I've actually tried each of these items and not one disappointed. That cheesecake, <clears throat> slap my ass and call me Judy, it's good. And at Circle K, there's never an inexcusable time to grab milk. No one will say a damn thing, either because they're too afraid or because they simply couldn't care less. Craving milk at four in the afternoon on a Friday? No problem. Middle of the night on a Tuesday? We've all been there. But what might be the best thing about Circle K is that everything I have said in the past two minutes is 100% absolutely factually true. Back to you. Yeah, put your phone on silent maybe. No, I am. Five, four. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Mm. Welcome back. So now we have a really fun game, still with our special guest. Um, this game is called Double Date. So as you can see, we kind of dressed it up. You know, there's a tablecloth. Here, I'll even. Oh, Jules gets a napkin. You know, it's really fancy. Um, so in this game, uh, last time Dylan was here, we did a kind of a green flag, red flag situation. But today, what we're gonna do is the four of us are going on a little double date. And if you guys say something that we think is a red flag, we hit our buzzers. So we're basically we're and we have to make a buzzer noise, and we're making buzzer noises. You you do yours. Ah, mine's. Ee. Yeah. So there it is. Um. So we're gonna ask you guys questions and just elaborate on your answers. And if we think something's like a little little fishy, um, we'll buzz our buzzer. We'll let you know. Yeah. So to start, what kind of music do you guys like? I like rap and EDM. Okay. So far. I'm I like mostly like alternative music. I'm a big like kimchi elephant guy, Arctic mm. Monkeys. Okay. Nice. Okay, if they said country, I was gonna do this. Cause I don't so like I, 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 I don't country. personally enjoy EDM like low key. I was like, ah. but like, like a, just like a tiny, like a half, like a half button. Yeah, yeah. That's true. okay. I'll take. I'll let. I'll let it slide. True. Um, what are both of your favorite colors? Purple. That's my. That's mine, too. Uh, teal blue or, like, Carolina blue. Okay. Okay. All right. So far, so good. They're doing well so far. Red would have been my <laughs> my bad answer. I don't know why. I just feel like red. I once dated a guy color. whose favorite know, color was, like, uh, 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 I don't, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. I just felt that. <laughs> um, anyways, what, so, I don't know if you guys have your phones on you. What is your snap score? Uh, I got you. Yeah, I got to check that. Do this one I'm really interested in. <laughs> I'm not a big Snapchat guy. You know what? You know what? Snapchat? Uh, 400, Snapchat? 433,000. Oh, that's oh, pretty, pretty low. Mine pretty is 251,000. Wow. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm okay, good. much worse at that. Me too. Uh, my, I've had Snapchat. To be fair, low. that's, that's pretty like low. That's medium. Like, that's okay. like I've low had Snapchat medium. since like fifth grade, so oh, mine's... Okay. Probably oh, yeah. in the 700, that 800. Lot, huh? Maybe they should have the buzzer. It really? Okay. All right. <laughs> it's not not for what you think. All right. What up? Moving on. All right. Moving what on. is what, what are do your, we think, Jules? <laughs> I don't know. What are your zodiac signs? Uh, 
Or do you Ooh. even know? Oh, I'm 2000 Zodiac, right? You're like, you're the dragon? No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, like, you're the month you were born in. Oh, I'm a Virgo. You're a Virgo? I like Virgos. Yep, and I'm a, I'm a double Virgo because my little sister's big into astrology. So okay, yeah, yeah. Mm. And I forget the other one. But Heike, I'm going to take my stand against space racism right now. Like, it means, <laughs> like, it is so opposite of my personality. It's not even really? funny. My whole, like, like, Science like description like says I'm like a an introverted little I'm not gonna say I'm being worried, but it, it, it's it's just not really me. I so. don't know. I could see Virgo. I I, I see it. I believe in. Uh, maybe. I know a lot about so. astrology, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Taurus. I like Tauruses too. No. Really? I Tauruses are Earth signs. Technically, yeah. so are Virgos. And Space races. I'm a fire sign, so I'm I just. I'm also a fire sign. I can't oh do. <laughs> Maybe we're meant to be. Mean? It means that, well, usually fire signs are pretty fiery. Um, I also have outgoing. a lot of air sign in my chart, mm -hmm. so earth signs tend to just like, you guys are really stubborn. Yeah. Oh, all right. I don't Which really, I feel like that's pretty fair. I don't really like cancers, to be honest. Mm, um, too emotional. Lots of cancer men are like very scary because they are. You know what the worst one is? Yeah. Libra cancer men. men are Cancer met, well, you know what? Let's move on. <laughs> um, where are you guys from? Oh, I'm from the D.C. area, like Northern Virginia. I are live out. Oh, okay. No, it's New fine. York up yet. Nice. I knew that one. <laughs> New York. If, if you said Maryland, I would have been really upset. Wait, when you say you live in D.C. <laughs> I do not like Maryland at all. Yeah, Maryland's Wait, like. Wait, my boy's from Maryland. What's I'm it? sorry. My uncle lives in I Maryland. I have boys from Maryland. I don't. <laughs> deal. I don't enjoy. Listen, I have friends from Maryland as well. I have friends from Maryland. We all have friends from Maryland. I'm sorry. Shout I out just, to my homie D. Grips. Yeah, I boy. just don't. Love you, Doug Grippo. Okay. <laughs> I just can't I can't deal with the state of Maryland. Yeah, that's fair. All right, this one's a hard hitting question and I really hope you guys know the answer. When is the last time you changed your sheets on your beds? Oh, I actually know the answer Yesterday. to this one. Really? Yeah. I didn't expect that. Um last Thursday. Wow. What the heck? Okay, I that's I feel like that's really We're cool. incredibly cleanly young men. We didn't expect that. Like well, I don't know. I don't peak know. Of organization. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I got like a little bit of a complaint, but then I, I cleaned it. <laughs> okay. Okay. He got a complaint. He got a complaint. In, complaint in the box. feed in the feedback box. Uh, yeah. yeah. No. I, the reason I'm surprised. Just got a suggestion box. Yeah, exactly. Out of his room. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Needs to oh, yes. needs to clean sheets <laughs> is the first one. No. The reason I thought the reason I'm surprised is because I don't like clean my sheets that much. Like I really. Think, When's no. the last time you cleaned your sheets? I think I I think I changed my sheets like. Maybe like two weeks ago. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I, I think I did mine like when a I week and a half like ago I'm not that dirty. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm just like well, yeah, I don't know. Well, you shower and change into clean clothes before bed. That's what yeah. I mean. And I never wear my outside clothes in the bed. No. You know when people mm -hmm. like get in and they have their jeans on and they go mm -hmm. in the bed. I'm like whoa. whoa. I'll fall asleep in my bed with my like shoes on like sometimes. <laughs> oh, I don't that's, do that. That's yeah. that's tough. That is tough. Those are the best nights usually though. You know. It's for sure. Um what. Uh, I want to skip that one. Um, what's your favorite song to hear while you're out? Like you're at a darty or a nardy, you know, day darty to nardy, and you're like, oh, this um, song is my favorite song ever. Yeah, right, yeah. right now, uh, it's like an EDM remix of When You See Us in the Club, they be mm, acting real nice. I know that song. Yeah, yeah. that is a good That's one. That's a good one. I think uh, like anything by ABBA goes pretty crazy and mm -hmm. dirty. I'm a, I'm a huge ABBA guy, so oh, like, okay, yeah. oh, that's fair. Yeah, so I like the one that's like, damn, damn. Oh, oh, I just want to rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Song. I would love I to meet Lil Uzi Vert. But yeah, yeah. All right, that's well, the one that's like, yeah, yeah, like that, that one yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Are you a dancer? Yeah, a little bit. Semi pro, a, a minor, bit. a minor. Dabble. Majoring in dance. Okay, All right. Sorry, Jules. <laughs> I think we can get one more in, one quick one. Uh, do you own conditioner and shampoo separately, not a two in one or a three in one or a five in one? Joe, what did you brag to me about this morning? I, 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 I'm a two in one guy. So. Uh, 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 get two one. Uh, get a shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> It's two in one. No, no it's not. <laughs> it's not. I have separate shampoo and conditioner. Yes, yes. D Scott. Okay. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna leave you an anonymous gift by your suggestion box. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a Pantene shampoo and conditioner. Just know it's from me. Okay? Yeah. 
What about right. head and shoulders two and one, Frida? Mm -mm. Uh -uh. It's two and one. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. It's two and one. <laughs> All right. With that, thank you guys so much for coming thank on the you. show today. We loved having you guys here. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Woo! Woo! It's Anytime. Been a, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Yay. Yay. And that is all we have for you guys today. We will see you next time on Elon. To find out more about After Hours, visit elonstudenttv.org.